What is shaking and baking, people? So, uh, put a post up in the group, just kind of gauging some interest on atomizers people would like to see set up, see me run, talk about, so on and so forth. So, one of the hot topics was kicking into the Susco Kirch and uh, building it up, wicking it up, and running it. So, Special one for today is I'm going to figure out a dual coil build that will run not only on a Mac, it'll run on a DNA 60 or a DNA 75 or die codes. So that's the goal for today. We're going to see if we can pull it off. I've got a good idea of what we need to do as far as material goes to be able to do so. So uh, yeah, let's dive in. Let's build it. All right, guys, coils installed, pulsed, fired, balanced, ready to get some cotton in them. So we did two and a half millimeter ID duels. Wondering if I should have went two mil, but we'll see. We will see. Thin, thin little pieces of cotton. So the first time I wicked this up, it had been a minute since I had wicked uh, atomizer with a, well, with a wicking system kind of like this. So I went a little snug and it still ran pretty damn solid. So this time, this time we're going to try and do it a little bit better. Too much, so we'll take just a little bit away. It's good. <clears throat> Get just a little wiggle out of the coil and you pull the cotton. Nothing too crazy. Obviously, for people running dual coil on this on a Mac, you can run a little bit beefier builds that aren't nearly as sensitive to, uh, well, just being touched or looked at. But uh, this particular build is a 32 by 40 all nichrome uh, alien, six wrap, two and a half mil. And after wicking, I think it's going to come in around a 0.45. 0 0.4, 0 0.45, which is awesome. 
All right, so. All I did with the, with the top cap was kind of put it in place of where it's gonna sit, and I'm gonna to attempt to cut my wicks to fall just inside of the cap. Pretty much free floating. Not sticking out just inside the wall of the cap. <clears throat> Everything's just going to kind of be eyeball at first here. We're going to cut the corners off. Check it again. Let's fluff them. Doesn't matter what it is, you always want it fluffy. Fluffy. Okay. Alright, I like the length. Perfect. So, ideally, that's what we're looking for. Top cap went on nice and smooth. I didn't have to force it. Everything inside looks golden. Time to juice. Just double check real quick. We measure our resistance. Perfect. I'm going to saturate everything with the top cap on. Mainly because, well, when it goes on that well, I don't want to take it off again. Okay, our wicks at the end are saturated. We're gonna repeat until it doesn't gurgle anymore. Because somebody went a little extra saucy.
I think we're golden. We are golden. We are ready to proceed. Mm hmm. That's for him. Hold on, buddy. Yep. One second. Let that sit a hot second here. I don't want to put it into the borrow while it's that warm. Mostly because I don't want to touch it. That's better. I'm gonna say I shouldn't retain heat too long at all. Super light like gauges for wire. <clears throat> Where's my glass? Like this. Okay, so we got everything back together. We're gonna to put it in a borrow. We're gonna fill it up and we are going to run it. All right, so we're back up top. Kerch is in, integrated 510, batteries on. Time to fill her up. Oh man, that is ridiculous. Do need to go up in wattage though. Should have somewhat of a crackle. That is obnoxious. The flavor off of this bridge with dual coil. My God, that is fantastic. Fantastic. So much better in dual than single. little bubble just full sendy wow so now 50 watts 0.38 build the goal was to do a dual coil build that runs on a billet runs on a delro runs on a regulated it's a mission complete now let's test our wicking uh, Let's take it at 60 watts. Max it out. <laughs> 60 watts. We were just setting at 50. Mind you, 50 is nice. It is just flowing bubbles. So chain vaping, 60 watts, wide open, Kerch, dual coil, billet build, 100% lock.
Now for those that say, well, I don't want to run wide open. I don't want to do that. That's fine. Let's take it down to 45. Anybody that is under the impression you're going to run a dual coil in anything, if you think that you're going to get away with it with like 20 watts, it, it's not. <clears throat> it's not going to be pleasurable at all. And this is not the atomizer for you. There's plenty of better ones that will run at 20 watts. So turn down 45 watts. Still get a nice warmth. Um, there's no latency. I have 45 watts, it's instant. That is legit. That is legit. Okay, so my takeaway on a Kirch single, it's okay. For the price point, it's okay. Kirch and dual coil, really, really, really good. For me, that's bridged level quality vape. Um, running some Schlemmen cookie, and I am getting all of the same notes off of this that I do in my bigger stuff, which is usually my indicator of whether or not I like a bridge, is if I get the same flavor characteristics off of a bridge, whatever it may be, um, it's a go. It's a go. And this is a go. Um, the post screws, the post screws are very small. Um, I have a nice little bit set. The 0.9 was a close fit, but I don't think it was a 0.9. I don't know what it would translate to otherwise, but the, uh, little Allen keys that they included are really good. They are, um, uh, what am I looking for? Tempered. So they're very durable. Um, there was a few grub screws that were stripped, but I got it second hand, so I just swapped them out. There's spares in the, uh, in the container, so swapped them out. Here we go. Boy, that's really nice. Really, really nice. So, guys got the Kirch. Um, if you're running a single and you're kind of meh about it, slap a dual in um, still set in 0.38 I could put this on a Delro and it'd probably be like 0.43 that's awesome okay so Kirch done excellent dual coil I think we could just rail on this thing the whole time I will say too, real quick, is I don't run a condensation plug. I just run it, run it. And when I took it out from the single coil build, I literally just had a little condensation. There was no weeps, no bullshit, no nothing. It wasn't juice pouring out of anywhere. Um, so it's a clean running RBA as well. Some of them seep, man. It's just the weirdest thing, but. That's awesome. Okay, I'm going to put it down. I'm going to end the video. Susco Kirch. Single coil. It's okay. It's still good. Dual coil is really, really, really fantastic. And you can run it on a billet. You don't need a mech for it. Peace.